Hi everyone, Archana here. Um, today weather is really bad. Not today, from last whole week we didn't see sunlight. So uh, I thought I'll come in the craft room and make a tutorial, which is mixed media flower tutorial. So uh, as I I am always telling, like I'm not good at giving tutorials but I will try my best to show what I make I'm making it is just matter of assembling a variety of flowers that's it so um, first of all we'll start with the basic base petal um, this is DCWV this burlap stack and um, this is Tim Holtz Tatter Angel die. Uh, Tatter Angel, what I'm telling. No, 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 it's not that. So I'll show you which die I have used. Uh, Tattered flower. So this one. This die I'm always using. So this one I got. But this one is this one. The size is smaller. So what I did, I just get this petal and I. Uh, on the um, means how much big I want I just draw with the pencil and I cut it by hand so I got this petal uh, since I need to show something on the edges so uh, I need larger flower than this one and what we are going to do first of all we will edge um, make the distressed edge so uh, I love using a uh, team holds distress ink pad but I again in love with this Prima Agers. It is a chalk ager and these are perfect. This is meant for age, aging the um, this thing. So uh, it is very nice tool, very handy. So I got the um, color knotted wood and uh, just age it. Since I don't want to waste my distressed ink to just for aging, uh, since I can do lot of things with Tim Holtz distressed ink, and these are chalk based, so it looks really really nice. You can see the difference right now. Difference, I mean, not between distressed and this one, but you can feel the, um, you can see the uh, look of chalk based inks. So this is how it looks now, very pretty and mostly um, the, since it is a mixed media flower I wanted to use a gesso uh, to um, gesso with my mask or a stencil but I don't have much time I don't want to make this video too too long so what I will do uh, quickly we will just do it um, dry embossing technique with white embossing powder okay so um, I will use these kind of uh, scripted uh, um, stamp so I'll get the friend I don't I'm not sure we can see the friend word but at least we can get the script so each petal I will just randomly use this versa mark uh, I'm not right now sure where where it is but uh, I and I never ever used embossing technique on the burlap so this is my trial and error base a uh, trial and error um, try today so uh, if it's not working just forget it okay uh, so we'll just put all the embossing powder all over on the edges on the petal I mean and let's see I know it has a um, the burlap has holes here and there and this powder is going to stuck in between uh, not it's not working but let's see if after embossing what will do how it will look I mean Quickly, I will pour this powder in this box.
anyway this is not working the stamping and uh, this dry embossing technique is not working on this flower but anyway I got something white on the top but I will edge it again since uh, I lost my perfect aged flower so we will edge it again with the same ink not it quickly I'll just make it little darker so we learn this thing here embossing powder is not working or maybe I need to use a bold kind of uh, stamps to use this technique like bulky flowers or something but anyway we tried our best now we will assemble the flower um, since I don't want to make this video larger I uh, got some of these uh, die cuts using the same Tim Holtz die uh, I wanted to distress all the edges but right now I will not since yeah you know why um, and I would like to show you um, for the smaller petal these kind of petals I have used I'm using the, uh, sorry this one I'm not sure the brand oh yeah it's right here so I'm using this flower dye and it doesn't have the back side your uh, since it has uh, embossed and uh, punched together so um, uh, it will come right from right here your punch out so it will look like that and uh, since I use the this kind of tool it's broken right now it was my old um, fondant tool uh, but after uh, doing the, the this technique like uh, Oh my goodness so I need to make the petal curve that embossing um, whatever embossing this impression here it's gone but we don't need that so um, I used plenty of these petals to make another flower which is already made right here using so many different colored papers so uh, it is very very bulky lots of layers uh, I didn't age it uh, if you aged it with um, a different color ink it will look so pretty from the sides but anyway now uh, I'm always using this my all-time favorite Fabri-Tec um, glue so we will just glue our first petal and for the time sake I used variety of not variety of <laughs> so sorry but I'm talking anyway I'm using these dots the foam sticky foam dots which are this one I got it from um, Michael's their dollar bin section and these are tall so I love this one uh, and since we are filling the layers from other like um, I'll show you like this kind of flower we are making and these kind of petals uh, for for this flower I didn't use this foam dots uh, that's what it is more more dense uh, but this time I will try to use this foam dots to fill the uh, gaps with beautiful laces and everything uh, so it is more easy now to instead of using glue we'll quickly stick this together and keep the uh, the petals alternate so your flower will look beautiful now it's getting taller already because of these foam dots if you don't want to use these foam dots skip it or you can alter uh, miss you can use one foam, foam dot then glue then foam dot uh, so it will look like that on the sides it is look like a lotus flower to me it's so pretty and if you distress with the different color ch uh, chalk or ink it will be super pretty so I'm not going to assemble this flower right now 
we will just fill all those things first so I got few things here whatever handy right now I have all the beads and uh, some prima petals so it has a lot of different colors I'll stick with the one color of these petals and we will just fold it like that in half and then in this in the quarter and then use the glue right here and just stick it in between it's where you want um, it can be shown from the top and uh, of course from the edges so we'll quickly um, use all those petals I really really hope you all will participate in my uh, mixed media flower challenge I already got four or five entries and I am so happy that people are interested making these flowers so it will it is looking like that from the top and from the edges like that so we will fill one more layer we'll skip the one layer and we'll fill it right here the another layer If you don't have this, these uh, petals, uh, then you can use your punch out flowers. Um, I, I will show you one more punch which I have here. This one, which is my favorite punch and it is large punch. So you can see the sides. See almost same. So you can, if you have this punch handy, you can use that for making your flowers but make sure don't use thick paper just use your um, uh, copy paper like your printer paper or any kind of uh, um, thin paper so we will fill our last four last two Hi, in between my battery got down, uh, got down, got died. <laughs> so I took an advantage to distress the edges a little bit with the pink chalker. So I used this one, the vintage pink. Uh, so now what else we'll do? We just inserted all those petals. So I do have some things here. I do have these stamens, this kind of stamens. So uh, we will insert that somewhere. Since I used purple or lilac color, I thought uh, this yellow will go better with that. So let's see. And then this white, I will just tuck it somewhere here. I like this glue better than the hot glue right now. I mean currently. Um, since I'm... I'm really bad at using hot glue, I guess, because I got burnt a lot of time, burnt myself. Uh, anyway, this one is a Prima Petal, again white. Um, I cannot use it whole, pet, whole flower, so I will just cut it in a half and then we will just stick it somewhere. We'll just first see if it's, it looks better, then we will use it, otherwise we won't. So that is the main advantage, the advantage using these foam dots. 
you can assemble whole flower first that's what i did for this one this flower was like that before gluing so um, when i was um, comfortable or i was satisfied then i started gluing all the petals so i think this look okay these these flowers petals here what do you think or or in the on the bottom of this flower maybe this one is more better than the top one i guess so anyway this fl flower is mixed media so however you are using all those things it will look pretty for sure uh, i'm so sorry my voice is down today um, the weather is super bad and i'm not feeling that well i have a little headache so um, i'll insert it here i i hope we still see this beautiful yellow stems stamens So this is how it look right now and uh, I do have these kind of uh, picks so we will use it somewhere so on the bottom or in the middle somewhere so um, I'll just zoom in so you can see what, what's going on right now it looks like that so we will just stick this somewhere inside this and I have one more so we will use that too you can use as many as thing you want so just a matter of arranging assembling and the color combination so right now it is like that and um, I have these cute two little picks with pearls and I love this color also so I am just I will just cut it a little bit I wanted to use them together they look pretty like a spray so um, I just I just tucked it here let's see if it's if it's okay then we will just stick it I'm not going to stick it right now, like glue it, but I'll just keep it right like that, right here somewhere. And uh, now I do have some beads and pearls and everything, but we will use it later. Uh, we will use the middle flower first. I do have this one. We will put some beautiful center here. Uh, I also edged this in between and I do have this uh, color greenish uh, sea foam green and blue together I'm not sure you can see the exact colors right here but um, if you want to give a little bit electric touch kind of so you can use this one um, this looks okay for me uh, if you want the same keep the same color theme, but I guess I will use this one in between. What do you think? So um, It looks like that So so pretty uh, so um, And I use this fabric list which was in my stash on the back on the exactly edges since it has a, a very less width so um, I didn't put it from the bottom but anyway we will glue that I have a foam dot here but for 
To make it sturdy, we will use this glue again. So, uh, then I guess I will, I will stick these ones somewhere, somewhere here. But I will make it a little bit smaller again. And then we'll stick it some, somewhere, maybe together or separate, not sure yet. I think we will stick it together. So, this looks like that. And I do have this one too, so um, I'm not sure. This is so cute. Um, stain. So let's see if I can stick that somewhere along with this cute pearl pick. So I will just thinking of sticking this flower here. And I don't want to show that brown part more, so... I think it looks pretty right and then uh, we will start our beading part like all those blade beads to give little bit glittery touch so um, these beads should just go on the uh, top of the petal don't insert inside otherwise it won't look good or if you want to use the bigger bits first we will use the bigger bits on the bottom part so you can see lot many gaps here since we used foam foam dot we have a plenty of space to fill in so I'm thinking to fill these big bits right here somewhere here and uh, Since this I'm used glue, this flower is just running around, moving around, <laughs> and let's take this glue. I mean the bead, crystal bead, right on the top of this crystal pick. Since this pick is not that vibrant or that glittery, and it will stay like that after after drying. And then this white colored bead, I guess we will stick it right here. Okay, so make sure that bead hole will not show. And I have this black one also, so we will just use it right here. And the small beads, these kind of beads you can just stick it on the smaller petal top like that i wish i could have a different color beads i will go and check it out in the michael since i'm not using those beads for jewelry so i just got few colors for my stick pins and one more thing you can stick a stick pin here uh, I'll check if I have one handy um, and then what else we need a flower center right so uh, I do have this one right now or I I'll show you what else I have I do have this one and I do have this one so I guess the blue but I'm not sure it is too big otherwise I could use this one Let's see, we will just open it. So, um, I just got this one here. So, I didn't stick this right now, I'll stick it later, but uh, I'm just showing you. So, this flower center will look good here. Um, 
but still not sure since I have few options I want more glittery more more um, blingy so this one is also perfect so anyway I will use any flower center but this is my um, tutorial oh my goodness I forgot this one since I I love this I use this dye and I love this one so uh, what we'll do I still have this flower wet let's see if I can take it out and stick this part here and then we will just stick this one it will not show currently since this ribbon is here but you can see from the sides if you open a little bit from uh, initially I thought I will not use this this ribbon so what I'll do I'll just cut this ribbon in between since I don't want the flowery flowery shape so that much touch is okay so now we can see this From, from that other part or you can just adjust the petals I'm sure you can see now this beautiful beautiful snowflake die cut from here 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 okay um, and the flower center is right here so this is my mixed media flower how I made it and uh, this is this is amazing you can keep miss you will be addic addicted if you make ones you want to make more uh, if you have small this and that things handy it will be easy to assemble and uh, I hope this tutorial is helpful for you and I really really hope that you will be a part of my giveaway challenge so I'm looking forward to see your beautiful, beautiful flowers and I am learning from you all, always, always. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just thankful for all those videos and all those um, beautiful things people are sharing. So, um, so that is what I am trying to do. I'm sharing my, whatever I know. So thank you so much for watching. I don't want to make this video longer. So I'll just stop my talk. Bye for now. Thank you.